Hey there everyone, welcome to Technisha. In this video, I am going to show you how to automatically make cell borders based on the data. So here is a list of numbers and on the right in column D, you see the unique numbers from this list. If I add a number now in this list, it will populate in the unique list if it's not already present. But as it populates, the cell border will also be generated. So let's say I put in the number 15, which is not there in this list. As soon as I press enter, the number 15 comes in and automatically the cell has a border. Let me show you how to do this. Column B represents a list of numbers. Let's say that you want to find the unique numbers from this list. Let's go to column D and let's call it unique. And you can use the formula called unique in Excel. And the array, let's take in from B3 to B21. And as soon as I press enter, I get the unique values and a zero, which is from a blank. You can see that the numbers are unique. However, there is no formatting to this cell. We can format these cells by doing a center justification and putting a border. But this does not look good. We would like to have borders only when the cell value is entered. So let's say if I enter a unique cell value called 15, that comes into this list followed by a zero, but we still have empty cells. But we still have empty cells which have a border. We can make the borders dynamic. Let me show you how. So let me first select column D and make it no borders. Now, the trick to getting borders is using conditional formatting. So let's select from D2 to D21. And now we could go to conditional formatting and let's create a new rule. And we'll use a formula. So let's go to classic and use a formula. And the formula is really simple. All we need to do is identify the first cell, in this case, which is D2, should not be equal to blank, which is what we need to see. So if a condition is there where the cell value is not blank, we want to put a border. And in the format, we can use a customized format. And you'll have multiple options here. Let's go to border, choose outline, and say OK. OK here, and that's it. Whenever a cell is not empty in this column, it will automatically have a cell border. So let's say now that we add another number, 19. It comes into this list and the next cell is automatically containing a border. By using this technique, you can have cleaner tables and outputs. I hope that this tutorial was of use to you. If you liked it, please subscribe to my channel. Till next time, ciao.